Hi everyone. Today we're going to be talking about the function suggested time within Google Calendar. Now before we start, if you do not have your working hours set up on Google Calendar, you may want to do that because that could cause problems when using this function. If you don't know how to do that, you can search our channel for Google Calendar, how to set up your working hours to check out that video. Now, what you're going to do um, is you're going to find a day that you would like to set up an event or meeting um, with a couple of colleagues. So I'm going to pick um, April 3rd here, and I'm going to click that, and I'm going to say we're just going to call this one meeting, and then I'm going to click on the more options button. Now, you want to add in all your guests first that are going to um, – attending this event or meeting and then you'll notice right below your guests you have this function right here called suggested times now when you click on it it's going to offer you times throughout that day that all the participants in this um, event are available so you can scroll through and find a time that works for you once you have one you're going to click on it and that's going to set your time over here for you. And then you're just gonna click save. And then it will ask you if you would like to send an invitation email to those guests, you're going to click send. And if you have anyone outside of um, your organization, you may have to click invite external guests. And now it has set up that meeting time for you. All right. I hope you enjoyed this short tutorial on how to use the suggested time function within Google Calendar.